Miss Crystal, Wednesday, the camera's on. Oh, hello everybody. It's Christ Kids time. I'm Crystal Pruitt, the director of Children's Ministries. And I'm Wednesday. If you're a Christ kid, or a Christ kid at heart, can, can you, you give, give us, us a, a big, big wave? wave? Wednesday and I have been enjoying a game called Rock, Paper, Scissors. And it goes a little something like this. Rock crushes the scissors, but scissors cuts the paper, and paper covers the rock. So you count to three. One, two, three. And then you both make a symbol to see who wins. You can play as many times as you want anywhere. Yeah. It's so much fun to play with our friends. Yeah, I really needed a friend this week. My week started off not so great when my project wasn't going the way I hoped it would. Then my artwork was all wrong, and then our car broke down. I was pretty bummed and frustrated. But then Wednesday noticed when he saw me at church, and he came to spend time with me. He gave me a big hug, and he helped me find some things to laugh about. And he even helped me fix my art project. I did do all those things, didn't I? You sure did, Wednesday. You're a great friend. Oh, Miss Crystal. But that's what any good friend would do. Actually, Wednesday, you may not even realize it, but you are doing exactly what Pastor Morris is talking about today. Really? What's that? Pastor Morris is talking about serving others. Isn't serving when you go on a big mission trip with the church or even help someone after an earthquake? Well, yes, that's one way that we can serve others, but there's lots of other ways to serve too. Just like you, you noticed when I needed a friend. You had lots of things that you needed to do this week, but you stopped the important things you wanted to do to make time to be with me. But how is that serving? Well, let's use our game of rock, paper, scissors to help. Okay. Okay. Rock. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the rock. He's the strong place that we can trust. It also tells us that Jesus, the Son of God, came to earth to serve other people. Jesus washed his friends, the disciples' feet. He healed people instead of resting. He made time to feed people who were hungry when there were lots of other people who wanted to hear him preaching. He went to people's houses to visit with them and help them learn more about God, even when his disciples said he was too busy. Because Jesus the Rock served others, and we are supposed to be like Jesus, we should serve others too. All right, so next is paper. How does paper help us think of serving? Well, what's one thing we like to do with paper? Draw. We like to make art. God was an artist when each one of us was created by God. The Bible tells us that every person is made to be like God. When we remember that, we can remember that all people, even the ones who might not be our favorites, deserve to be loved and cared for. Making time to notice when someone needs something, whether that's someone to talk to, a big hug when they're feeling sad, or if they need help with a chore, like cleaning up, that's serving. So when I see paper, I think about art. I think about God, the artist, making people and serving all of those people around us. But how can I use my hands to help serve? Well, it's an awesome point. We see paper and we see our hands open, and that helps us to remember we use our hands to serve. Nice point. Okay, so that makes sense. But what about scissors? Well, scissors are used to cut things, right? So we cut out our selfishness. And we only focus on what we want and when we want it. We choose to think about other people, just like you did Wednesday. You could have chosen to go to the playground, but instead you stayed with me. You cut out selfishness. And that's serving? It sure is. God made us to be connected with each other, to be helpers, and to allow others to help us, to show love in the little moments each day, holding open a door, using our manners, helping a sad friend to laugh or letting them cry if that's what they need, putting away the groceries, all of these things are thinking about others. Spending just a few seconds with someone else instead of thinking about what we want, that is a way we can serve others each day. And when we serve others and show them love, we're serving God and showing God love too. Oh, that's so cool. We really can serve anywhere we are. It doesn't have to be a big trip far away. It doesn't. Exactly, Wednesday. Let's show God love now by talking to God in prayer. God, thank you for Jesus who showed us how to serve others. Please forgive us when we are selfish and only think about what we want. 
Help us to see the chances we have to love you by loving the people around us every day. We love you so much, God, and we want to share your love through our words and actions. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, I think I'll be off now. I'm going to play with my friends in the nursery to see if I can make the babies laugh. Oh, thank you for serving in the nursery Wednesday. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, Wednesday. Well, since it's Family First Sunday, we invite our Christ kids in elementary school to remain in worship with your families this morning. Whether you're at home or in person, practice opening your Bibles together. Sing the songs together. Hold hands during prayers. Experience worship together, not just beside one another. Infants through four-year-olds here in person, you can meet your leaders in the gathering space. Adults, please make sure your children are checked in and you can pick them up from rooms 112 and 113 after service. All right, Christ kids, have fun.